Okay, we're, we're chasing someone. Where'd she go? There she goes. We gotta go to the, the prison barge. Yeah, I, I've got too much loot. One second. I, I, gotta, I gotta sell all my loot. This mysterious merchant. I don't know why he's so mysterious, but he is. There you go, you can have like a bunch of my stuff. I don't really want all this. There you go. Espadon, yours. I have like a shit on my cloth. Dude, don't keep them like that. Sell, sell another like four of that. 75 wine. Take 43. Superb short sword, yours. Well balanced dagger, don't want them. Books. So, quest items. Okay. Uh, junk. It's actual junk. It's all, it's all yours. I have I have 1,600 money. Keep insanity. 17 timber. No 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 no. You can have 10 of that. 14 oil. You can have a bunch of that as well. And I got 178. It's still insanely high. What the hell? I don't understand why it is so high, but sure. That doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't make any sense. Why do why am I so heavy? Alright, we're gonna go rob this prison barge or take the prisoners from the prison barge. What can we do? Hello, Tris. No, see you later. Hello guard. What do you want? I want in. To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed! I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. Yeah. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. Yeah. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Oh, wow. Well. Didn't even check it, did huh? you? Mm -hmm. done that about it. How are you? What a nice guard. He just tell me walk in. After I said, yeah, you're your commander. You don't even know what he made a deal with. Right? Bad guards with bad guards. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, the copper's dozed off. Wakey, wakey, copper. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. Very nice guy. Oh, birdie's all wet. Hey, birdie, you get wet just looking at me. Get ready, birdie. We'll be there to see you right after our watch. Behave yourself, Witcher. Hello, Welcome. Be vigilant. Hello, and this guy is the wounded one. He's the right hand man of this. So yeah, he'll do, they are doing very well. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Mind control one? I'm the wounded elf with the axe sign. Wait, really? The, their intelligence proved true. However, Geralt was unable to speak with Siri, and for the elf was writhing in agony, dying. Before Triss could start healing, Geralt had to use the axe sign to calm him. I don't see. <sighs> Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, the coffer's dozed off. Wakey, wakey, coffer! You'll fall asleep forever any day now! Look, Birdie's all wet. Hey, Birdie, you get wet just looking at me. Get ready, Birdie. It's no use. You wish, Horson. Oh, I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam, on the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. How did they catch you? How did Laredo's goons catch Yorbeth's right-hand elf? Yeah. I was betrayed. How else? Oh. He saved your life. You'd be dying in pain if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for the Dwan, I wouldn't be here. Well, true. There's a Witcher in Yorbeth's unit. Like every Dwan, he turned out to be a bastard. Oh, he what happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where roses of remembrance grow. I know it. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And 
there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus, I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Why does the Dwan want Yorvith dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred, but he no longer needs Yorvith. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. Okay, what's Yorvith planning? What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Hmm. All right, only I can warn him, yeah. Only I can warn Yorvith. Tell me. You would also betray him, Dwan. Hey. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Maybe I should have used this spell. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. Confirmed. We got enough, I guess. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaine. Yorvith fights. You didn't tell me what he's that doing. is what he does best. Do he's Enshe, a real one, a free one, among the last. Fighting makes sense now more than ever before. There is still hope. I what are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change, for a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge. And I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Alright. Am I getting a new memory? Maybe? Yennefer told me that oh. Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Abeloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. You took Yennefer? And then made off with Yennefer. I had to get her back. Return to reality. Return to the Witcher's path. The CD gave me the island. Okay. Interesting. Then I just kind of stayed there forever. For a while, at least. Not forever. Alright, there's the memory. Geralt, are you alright? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me. In the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I, know where they are. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? It'd be nice if you did, yeah. I'd love your company. Yeah. All right, then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. I already found Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, oh, coffers, the same line again.
The Rose of Remembrance, interrogating Sirian made Geralt feel strange. Perhaps it touched a nerve and it certainly caused anxiety. The Witcher could almost hear the memories locked away in his mind calling for freedom and battering at the door that kept them from him. Seeing the Witcher's behavior, Triss decided there was no time to lose and asked Geralt to find a Rose of Remembrance. This powerful psychoactive agent could hasten the recovery of his memories. Geralt and Triss went off to search for the flower or, more precisely, Geralt followed the sorceress who knew how to reach the place where the roses apparently grew. Ascent of Kings Following the conversation with Eorwitz adjunct, the search for the Kingslayer gathered momentum. However, other matters of greater importance to Geralt could not wait. The Witcher had a very serious conversation with Triss Merrifolden, the results of which are detailed in another thread, and only after he was finished with what he was asked did he continue the investigation. Setting up Juice. Another vision came also came during an interrogation, but this time Eorwitz adjunct was the one interrogated. Smell of apples brought a memory of the Isles of Avalash, a mysterious land where Geralt arrived after the events in Drivia. The Witcher once more lived through the wondrous experience of that place, but he was not to cherish them for long. Wonder turned to fury when Geralt saw a woman being kidnapped by the wild hunt. The abducted was very important to him. The Witcher realized that searching for her became his main goal in life. Right, so we fought those people. But Siri wasn't there in the fight. I guess she just turned up because she's like powerful, <laughs> I suppose. Very powerful. Mm, Tyrion. Tyrion had served in Yorbel's unit as the Elven commander's adjunct. Captured and imprisoned on the prison bars by Dorito's men, his position was unenviable to say the least. Yet he still demonstrated the pride and stubbornness so characteristic of the Edge Shame. Kingslayer. The mysterious individual now had a name. It appeared that this Leto, whoever he may be, was playing his own game, one in which the Coyotel had become an impediment. Yet his ultimate objective remained a mystery to Geralt. Kill all the kings, kill all the leaders of all the big clans, weaken everything, and then Nilfgaard comes in, I suppose, maybe. Sheila. Sheila has also turned out to be a lucrative opportunity for Zoltan. Cuts magical apparatus. One has to admit that Sheila's help proved to be useful. The sorceress did not fear the monster and they have bravely fought, aiding the Witcher with her powers. That she did. Oh my, well balanced dagger. So many, so many things. Kairin carapace armor. Plus one damage reduction. Okay. Hardened leather twine, Kairin skin. Witcher's superb silver sword. Interesting. Tawny Owl. Tawny Owl speeds up the regeneration of vigor. After consuming it, the Witcher can parry monsters, blows, and cast signs more often. The potion is weaker than lapping, but generates no side effects. It can also be used to alleviate side effects of Gladwell. Potion moderately increases toxicity when imbibed. The potion is recommended for Witchers who specialize in casting signs and those who fight monsters that employ strong attacks, which must be parried. This low toxicity and virtual lack of side effects makes it ideal for combining with other potions. Devil's Puffball. Devil's Puffball, also known as the Peasant's Fart, great, emits a cloud of poisonous gas centered on the detonation site. Any creature within range of toxic cloud is poisoned. Mom is ineffective against creatures resistant to poison. It is, uh, it is advisable to use it against creatures attacking in groups. Stench bulb. This bomb releases a cloud of gas whose odor is so unbearably foul that it chases away even dwarves, not to mention rot fiends and boulevards. A practical joker might use it to ruin a banquet, but witches use stench bulb to flush monsters out of their lairs or to catch a breather during an exhausting fight. Right. Zeracanian sun. The explosion of the Zeracanian sun is so abrupt and bright that it instantly, though temporarily, blinds anyone who glances at it. Foes thus blinded become easy prey for the witches. The bomb is ineffective against creatures that cannot be blinded. Right. Flares. Flares can be very convenient if the witcher is out of the cat potion that is accompanied by comrades who do not share his ability to see in the dark. Detonate the flare bomb and the alchemical reaction will illuminate surrounding area for a short time. Right. Grape shot. While Alfred Nabel's most important invention failed to find a broad application, it proved splendid as the basis for the grape shot bomb, a highly democratic explosive that wounds everyone within range, whether human or monster. The grape shot is very effective against all creatures, except perhaps the most powerful. Interesting. Wild hunt. Stories of the wild hunt do not appear in the dwarven and elven cultures, but it's quite interesting for the elder races. It's quite interesting for the elder races must have faced a hunt long before humans did. As it seems, the dwarves ignore everything on mutual terms, while the elves are mysteriously silent on the subject. But not to be a new god sacrifice them right away. Wakey wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. <laughs> well, birdie. Hey, look. We'll birdie. Look at, we'll you get find out. They're just walking away now. Oh, please. Wait, this is Roche's commando is just chilling out here? Oh, the boat is here. Hello. Captain. Trouble. Greetings. No borders. <laughs> Something's brewing. Oh, what? Well, it's good to have some back of my town, I suppose. It goes wrong. A lot of men who can fight. Got it. Right, just follow you, and I know where you're leaving me. 
I tell him, I'm taking your pals. I'm glad you're here. Your pals. You can follow me, lady. Ah, I know where it is. I was already there. No underground area that I had, have not done stuff with. Saving, we'll be saving the game. Go on. Why are you walking so slowly? Go. Oh my lady. The forests are free of monsters. Okay. Why do you? Exist? Come on! I guess not completely the that I was wanted. Still a couple of neckers. Alright, but I got... I, I harvested them. The crap. That. Alright, we keep moving. I've destroyed all the necker's nest and everything. I don't know why they're popping up. <coughs> Ow. That's fine. Should be completely fine. What is this fan? Interesting. Oh, side fan. Leads to the waterfall, yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'm glad too. I'm glad you're here. Dead soldier, of course. Then you just walk up. I'm glad you're here. Hey, you're so glad. Why don't you just walk faster? Oh. Mm -hmm. I think we've arrived. The cascade, the menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. All right. Gardens in the middle of forests. Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Let's go then. Let's there we go. Take the path leading upwards. The wizard, we reach the waterfall and then follow the path up foot. What the hell is this? Right. Are you, are you, okay, you're falling right now. Right. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. Well, it is pretty nice, compared to the human Elven architecture obviously was much better. Though there's still lost in the humans. No surprises. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cymeril. Cedric said Cymeril eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty. And Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. <laughs> he really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions. And that's something I understand perfectly well. Alright, so he has a gift of visions, but... He doesn't want it. Alright, here we are. This is it. Beautiful architecture. Nice statue. Oh my. I love her. Look at her. It's beautiful. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? Humans? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Yorvith and his kind are taking revenge, though not all elves are like that. Kieran said there's a lot more at stake. He has his ideal. A certain vision of the world. But do you think there's room for humans in it? Probably not. We're practically one in the same. Wrong, Triss. We've been learning from each other for generations, but we're different at base. I don't know why I find that awfully sad. It is sad. Just like this garden. Beautiful and sad. I'm glad you're here. Mm. I mean, it's right here. Apparently. I'll check out the sides first. No, there could be uh, something uh, 
Good, like, what is this? Well, Bana is not supposed to be here. Get out of here, Can I... Nope, alright. Well, I guess we'll come down there later. Well, I guess we'll just pick the flower. What do I remember? Cymeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. Here. This one's for you. Yeah. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Oh, what the hell. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? It'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. We'll draw a sword now. And... Kill the <laughs> Come back for a freak of nature! Don't take away the statue, it's a cool statue. Oh. Watch out! Oh. Ah. Oh, Underground, that place that I saw, right? Yep. Oh. The actual barn. what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. Looks like we're stuck. Well, there must be another way out of here. Well, I know there is. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? You could use a bat. Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you. Well. Although, I would keep the sword close. Do we dirty the water with those shoes and pants? Might as well. Kill four dudes and I'm trying to 
Dandelion? Nope. L. A witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymeril, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We Enshay remember how it was. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted within these very stones. Though only those in love can hear them. Good. Are they gonna hear that side? <coughs> Singing bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. Big hole down there. We should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Yeah. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. You're that's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt, deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. Yeah. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared right. to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morn. It's up to you. Tris. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I'll catch the king's thread before you finish your operations. I don't want to lose I don't want to lose you. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. Yeah. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's Kind. Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach and tending to our own matters? I can't, I guess so. I can't. No, I got I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Yeah. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Yeah. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled. And as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Yeah. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. Yeah. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. Yep. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Roach, is this standing there? Okay.
uh, Geralt wanted to see the matter of the Kingslayer through to its end, a fact that Triss didn't like because she wanted to leave everything behind and go away, far away with her beloved. Despite that, the sorceress decided to aid our hero in all his designs. She started preparing an infusion from the Rose of Remembrance and sent the vision to Zoltan. You may recall that the dwarf was in contact with the Squire Terror and could bring Geralt to your right there. Triss Melagot decided to accelerate the process of which Geralt would recover his memory. She wanted to use magic and needed a Rose of Remembrance for her spell. Rose of Remembrance. The, 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 the. Instinct told the witcher there was a rose of remembrance somewhere nearby. Indeed, Geralt soon saw the plant and could pick the flower he'd been seeking. Our hero found a bush of rose of remembrance, leaned forward and picked what looked like an ordinary flower. The, a rose is a rose is a rose is a rose, a poet once wrote, but she was wrong in regard to this one. For the flower really was the key to Geralt's memory. The ruined atmosphere, ruined atmosphere contributed to an intimate feeling between both, between both Geralt and Triss. Now, intimate feeling both Geralt and Triss felt, yet intruders disturbed it. A band of thugs stealing the last surviving statues appeared in the ruins. The outraged Triss provoked the plunderers and a fight ensued. Geralt had to defend both his life and that of the sorceress. As if the bandits were not enough, the ground beneath the witches and the sorceress feet caved in. The ceilings of the underground, in the, of an underground room, eroded by time, gave in and our heroes landed within. It was a beautiful bathhouse, elven built, of course. It was supplied by water by a clean spring. However, Geralt was in no mood to admire the works of ancient masters. The witches started looking for an exit. They really did admire the work of ancient masters. They did more than admire it, just, you know. Hello, chess. Wild hunt, orange damage is done. Gerald! Wild hunt. According to the Nordlings, the wild hunt is a possession, or rather a cavalcade of skeletal horsemen. They rush across the sky on the bony remains of their steeds. Clad in dusty remains of armor, they wear jagged swords and at their waist. Like comets, the wild hunt is an omen of war. It has been confirmed beyond all doubt, the spectral cavalcade ventures out in search of victims every several years. But its harvest was never as rich as just before as the last the war with Nifgard, when over 20 souls went missing in Novigrad alone after the hunt passed through. Curiously, El Elven and Dwarven legends make not the slightest of the uh, thing of this wild hunt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Relax, I'm relaxing here. Yeah? I'm glad you're there here. you are. Is everything alright? Everything is fine, my man. This is nice. It is nice. Gear and skin armor. What a beautiful place. Very. Yeah. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Right. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoyatella out in droves. I'm glad you're here. Are you are staying? I guess you can teleport. Nothing to care about. Getting out. Any normal time. Are you coming, old man? Are you not coming? Oh. I have notes of a madman who's cla who claims he'd been abducted by the hunt. I found a patient's chart in the ruins of the hospital. Mm -hmm. You mean the burned down insane asylum? Yes. They committed him to the asylum because he'd insisted he'd been a prisoner of the wild hunt. He claimed he'd been in a world without humans, where he'd seen herds of unicorns. Mm -hmm. He managed to return to our world after a year, only to find his children had died of old age. Following this, Vernon, it means he'd been to a world where time flows a lot slower. Yeah. Narita yeah. wants the Scoyatel gone for good. Mm -hmm. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorvets outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Lorito's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. Maybe it's in time. The King's Lay will escape. You'll get a chance to show your mettle. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Scoyatel. I sent the boys out into the woods. Oh. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's Five no picnic years. hunting elves yeah. in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. Mm. All right. So long, Roach. All right. Guess we'll go. It's not like we have any other missions to do right now. If there are more missions, I would love to know what they are and do them. He just left the mine or and here. A little gift for me. Honestly, there should be. I, I like games which has like which have indicators of where missions are. You know, because sometimes I'm scared of missing a mission. But once I get it, I'll do it. Right? I still don't know what's going on with that trap I found. The thing is, I didn't use it. 
Because I found one part of the trap and the other part I never found. Because again, I didn't get the option. Shit, you stink. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got your fire trap. Come on over, drowner. Yeah, the, the thing was here, right. The potion, the what did I need to make the potion plant, whatever. To make me immune to the uh the thing. Okay. What missions do I got? Returning memories, Mystic River. Hero concluded, found the post box. I didn't want to get into the post box, but I don't think I can now. Walking around here alone. Wait, what the hell is this? Ah, uh, hello, Tris. Okay. I guess you're also walking back. You go ahead in the box. Also, keep in mind there could be another boat wreck further up the Pontar River. I'd like to talk to uh, who was the elf here. No, he's not that around here. Is that like a ghostly movie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a green person. Ah, oh, my <laughs> damn sacrum, aching and thumping. A bunch of cards, this is good. Also, drown is an all walking about. Although, if you could extend this like stone wall, to include your part of the city as well, it would be better. Alright, let's talk to this guy. We need right away, so. Oh, you know what? Drop the shield up. He's up there. What she's doing, she's got something going on. Hey, handsome. Hello. Sleeping, are we? Any progress? Nope, apparently it's done, right? I can't even give you your part of the money. Alright, I guess you don't want it. Hey, handsome. What? What? Just going, hey, handsome. You don't do anything. Chris. Okay. Dandy lion. What's that? What are these Any news? 
Triss has sniffed something out. Apparently, there are prisoners on the barge in the port. Squirrels, no less. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoyatel. You heard? Meaning some goat's arse and a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. Yeah. I need some way to get to this Jorvith. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Scoyatel. And Jorvith detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Jorvith? And here I always thought him a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Sultan was very helpful to offer packs to which anyone he has helped to empty cask of beer can attest. Geralt didn't have to repeat himself, and before you could say, searching for squirrels in the forest smells of suicide, Sultan and the Witcher marched to the Squirtle meeting place. Lead on, Sultan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Squirtle? The reader. What? Hey? That's why he wanted to hang you, after making deals with the squirrels. What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say Jorvev's mad, but the Skoyatel are at his beck and call. Sword knows what he wants. Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido's the beggar prick. Because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And there's word he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his angle? Greed! King Hensel will gladly annex more land and grant Lerido privileges. Sure. Come on, we've got a long way to go. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. You know their password? What are you playing at, Zoltan? All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command a unit. Ooh. No wonder Lurita wanted you hanged. <laughs> they may have asked, but I didn't accept their fucking offer. Well, why didn't you? You helped them last time, but I guess last time could have been different. I took a different path. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Here, kick out! <laughs> Alright, there they come. Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvith. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Jorvith won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There's probably more. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One's sick or on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Yorvith. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorvith know. Make sure you do. Come on, get out. I know who those elven pricks have planned. Been there once. What are you talking about? That clearing is a monster's lair. Huge horse son with a shell on its back. An Ericus in these parts? I thought that was impossible. I don't know the shit's name, but it's terrifying. They sent us into a trap. Tough. Let's go. I'll kill that monster. They're using, they're using it to guard their shit anyway. It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. Geralt indeed found the square tail in the place indicated by Zoltan. He learned where to find your and was warned about a beast following me in the area. Of the two evils, Zoltan preferred to face the monster. He was certainly squirrels from preparing an ambush. Yeah, there you go. Follow you, but you can walk. 
So I'm probably I've probably been to this area this wherever we are going now. This area, maybe. But the hospital's up on this side. On the other side. Ah, okay, that's a trap. Up here? No? This way? Alright, just clamber on up. You should lead. Have I been here before? Insane. We're here. That creature prowls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorveth. Exactly. Any ideas? Kill the monster? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? Kill the Arrakis. Where is the Arrakis? I've never been here before. I tried to get here, but I couldn't. Right, okay. This is oh. the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us is no elf. We'll leave it to you, we Marshals are not my speciality. Yeah. <laughs> A lovely show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. Hmm. What do you want, Batgirl? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Oh, well. They are trying. Zetho wants you dead. Letho betrayed you. Mm -hmm. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kieran. Kieran Ep Esnilin is dead. Nope. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. Mm -hmm. Believe me? If you speak the truth, Letho will die. But words alone are not enough. Oh, well. The escalation. What's the connection to the kids there? So the hired assassin turned out to be a traitor. It's his word against yours. For now, why do you trust him? him? Because he's a Dwan who agreed to do shady work for you? He did what had to be done. He proved nobody's untouchable. They're not humans in Flotsam. You attack and murder the people of Flotsam, forgetting that elves and dwarves live among them. That's no life. They've been stripped of self-respect. Forced to live and die by human laws. They're more Dwan than you, Geralt. Right, so you don't consider them two elves. What are you really fighting for? What's your angle, Yorvith? You wouldn't understand. Right. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. You've lost everything. What is this goal? What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Esseth Vatgen, you tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were Horsons who damned their own children to stay in power. But in the East, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. Lugard, what will you do with Leto? You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. 
We shall see how Letha reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? You here? The ruins of Kelmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? Why kill Foltest? Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming, but in reality, he allowed the elder races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Duan, but his death has more significance. I need to do something Let's first. meet there. I have something to take care of first. Vafel, Grimblade. Just don't try any tricks. No one's doing any tricks. I need to meet Came here together, we're leaving together. No, Zoltan. Your presence might raise suspicions. As you wish. Just don't get slaughtered. Why is this wolf's pain? I want wolf's pain. I killed that monster. Where the hell is the monster stuff? Don't tell me they despawned it. Ah, there it is. Arrakisai and Arrakis armor. That's what I wanted. Mean. What's up, dog? It's a dog's life, Geralt. I'll tell you that much. Alright, dog's life. We're all about that dog's life, huh? Care more. What? Silver sword. That's 15 to 24 damage. 10% bleeding and 1% chance of instant kill. Two errand died then. I'm taking the Care more and sword. Apparently someone tried to kill this beast. A witcher of Care more. Died in the attempt. Rabona. Seven nine. Your wits hide out. Well, well, well. What have you got hidden away here? A robust cutlass and a lot of money. Well, you are a terrorist organization, so... You might as well take away your money. You might do less damage. Going back to the dang. Alright, sure. Huh, where does this way lead? Oh, can I actually? Nope. Oh. If ever, then if ever. No, wait, how do I get out? Something like this. Oh, like, am I trapped in here forever? Zoltan, till the end of time. But no, we're walking out. So, I should have gone with them, but then I wouldn't have gotten the stuff from his hideout. You know? And besides, I mean, it's so close, but then. Gosh, I got like 50 back and forth. I got 50, right? I can just take it. Whatever I need. And it should be a big show off against uh, Mr. Lorido. Oh, you came, you didn't even see all the neckers. Go down, huh? I'm gonna make him stay there. You know what? So what happened to this? Oh, I thought there was like a, a place of power there. Not. 
and load on up. Save the game. Set to the big side. And here we have it. Hello. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. Oh. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us. If you try anything stupid... I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. I think they're already watching. So. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. I'd fail men here yet, then better. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Oh. Left, left, left. Exactly. Let's go. Are you sure he's not watching us right now? My warriors observe us. One wrong move and you're a dead one. Alright. Uh, the Arrakis, the forest monster was in. Oh, yeah. Forest monster was in Arrakis, a creature so violent and dangerous that a description could cause ladies and the more sensitive young men to faint. But to a witcher, no creature is wild. It is easy, either easy to kill or hard to kill. Unfortunately, the Arrakis was one of the latter. A fact, the witcher learned the hard way. The Arrakis was slain, but a more dangerous foe emerged from the forest. It turned out to be... It turned out that Yorvath had been watching uh, the witcher battle the beast. Intrigued by the hero's bravado, he even deigned not to have the intruder shot, as was his custom. This way, Geralt had a chance to discuss Leto's betrayal with the elf, and was every bit as diplomatic as, as the situation allowed. And know that the situation did not allow much leeway, for the lives of Zoltar and Geralt hung by a thread throughout. Fortunately, our witcher's information proved compelling enough that Yorvath not only heard them out, but also agreed to work with him. Sultan returned to Flotsam, and Geralt struck a deal with Yorvath. They decided to set a trap. The witcher bound the Coyote leader and led him straight to Merido. He hoped that the gift would earn the Hulk's trust, and that he would divulge information about his employers. Alright. Come on. I mean, we were right here a bit ago. So... Oh, there he is, just still chilling out there. He's just sitting, man. Like a kid. Geralt of Rivia. What's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Ah, yeah. uh, Yorveth, the woodland fox, caught at last. Mm -hmm. I underestimated you. What's your connection to Yorveth? I wondered what a human was doing among the Squiatel. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Know the same? The Squiatel are my brothers in vengeance. Joke's over! Unbind me! Uh, who are you? Who are you? Yeah. You really don't remember? Nope. I'm sick of that question. So it's true. And here I feared that you would ruin it all. I am Letho of Gullet. I'm a king slayer. Good. Mm. I spoke on the city. Kirin Epesnuin told me you want to eliminate Yorvith. Yeah. Even if I do, why would you help me? Bled at one. Uh, why are you killing Demavend? Me? Full test? Who else? Who the hell are you? Yeah. We've met Gerald. Do you remember? No, obviously. No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. All right, please. Sell it and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Skyatel in the Ponter Valley realize you're dead. Your men, huh? Who are second and Serret and Ox, who are they? Kingslayers the Skyatel are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. Hmm. You gonna kill the King of Edern? Oh, he's already dead. You'll answer for it, You killed Foltest. You'll answer for that. Yeah. You're the only one who saw it happen. You'll do the answering. I wondered what it... My enemy... The Skyatel of my brothers in vengeance. Alright, you don't have to fight. No, draw your sword. I don't see any other way to do this. Draw your sword. 
I'll kill him and be done with it. Enough of this farce. Vedrai Enlay! That's all What player. game are you playing? One that you just lost. Oh, what the Give me my sword. Such a pity we're on opposite sides. I see you still know how to fight. Why do you hound me? They think I killed Fulton. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. Right, I, I know that now. Obviously, I, I just fought him. Oh, bloody hell. Right, anyway, I'll see you all the next time.